This video, sponsored by AE Juice. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to see, how can we compress the video in After Effects, using the Adobe Media Encoder. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and this is a liquid text animation project. If you have not seen this tutorial, you can check out the link in the description. We are going to render the video in a small size, so let's take a look. Simply, go to the composition, and click on the Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Adobe Media Encoder comes pre-installed with Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Premiere Pro. You don't have to download it from anywhere. After clicking here, Adobe Media Encoder will boot up right away. And this is how it looks. Please note, the placement of these panels can be different for your computer. So don't worry about that. On this left side, we have the User Presets, and Groups section. These are pre-made presets, for exporting your file into different formats. For exporting your video in small size, simply choose any preset from this web video section. Just click on the arrow, to expand the presets folder. You can try any presets you want. Right here, we have the name of our project, or the composition. You can choose the presets for exporting your video. In case you are looking for a customized setting, simply click on this H.264. It will open up a new window. And here you can change every single export setting. Let's see how can you do it. Click on this format, and here you can choose a bunch of formats for rendering your video. Most of these formats are not available in After Effects. For rendering video in small size, select the H.264. This format, render your video in MP4. Now in this preset section, you can choose the YouTube, it will automatically reduce the file size. If you can see, they are the same settings as we have seen before. Let's quickly check some settings, which will be helpful for your project. Make sure both options are selected, if you have the audio in your project. Now for changing the names, as well as the destination of your output file, simply click on this name, and choose your destination. Now let's take a look, at some important settings. In the video tab, you can see this frame width, and height option. In case you want to change the frame size of it, make sure to click on this checkbox, to turn it off. And then you will be able to change the setting of it. Now I am changing the frame width to 1280. And it changed the width of my frame only. If you want to maintain the aspect ratio, make sure this link icon is activated. Let's quickly change the width back to 1920, and then I am going to click on this link icon. Now you can change the width of the video, and it will follow the height aspect ratio. See, I told you. It looks perfect. You can always click on the match source button, to get the exact same setting as your project. The next option is the frame rate. You can change it as well, by clicking on this uncheck button. I am keeping the default frame rate as my project. Also, make sure to change the field order to progressive, else it will show some random lines, on the motion video. Now scroll to the bottom, and click on the render at maximum depth. It will increase the output quality, as well as the time in rendering. Scroll down a little more. And this is the important part. It is known as the bitrate setting. And it will be important for increasing or decreasing the size of the video. There are three options available here, for changing the bitrate. I like to use the CBR, or constant bitrate. It increases the quality of the video, and do not create any artifacts. After selecting the CBR, you have to choose the target bitrate. Please note, the lower value of bitrate will produce small file size, as well as the low quality. But the high value will increase the render quality, as well as the size of the video. 
So, I am going to use the bitrate of 30. It will keep the good quality, as well as the small size of the video. See, the size is only 18 megabytes. Now, if you using scaling in your project, make sure to check this option, to get the better results. The video section is done, let's go to the audio section. I will keep all default settings here, because it is already choosing the best audio setting. By the way, you can keep the audio bitrate value to above 192, for getting the best quality audio. Everything else will remain the same. Now there is one more option available here, which may be useful for you. In the published app, you can directly publish your video on your Twitter, Vimeo, as well as on the YouTube channel. Just check the platform, and log into your account. I like to export the video in my local drive, so I am going to uncheck this option. Now, if you are going to use this setting for most of your video, I suggest you save this preset, by clicking on this icon, so that you don't have to change the settings each time. Rename your preset, and then hit OK. Now we are good to go. Just one thing I would like to mention, if you have the graphic card installed on your computer, make sure to choose the renderer, to Mercury Playback Engine GPU. It will increase the rendering speed. Now after finalizing everything, just click on this button. And you are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Special thank you to our partner, AE Juice. Check out their Liquid Elements Pack. Over a thousand frame by frame animations for your projects. It comes with a handy pack manager, basically, it is a huge asset library on demand. Press the shortcut to open the plugin, drag and drop and you're done. This is one of those investments that last your lifetime. The links are in the description. <laughs>